Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to the second episode of my Getting Prepared series for Pokemon X and Y, while I do the gameplay in Pokemon Yellow. Alright, so while you guys were away, I did a failed recording, because I was messed up with my files and whatnot, uh, but I fixed it, and now I'm recording again. But what I did on the break was I caught a couple Pokemon, and I leveled them up. And if you can tell, I leveled up a lot. So, let's go ahead and go through everyone. Lucentia is Pikachu, obviously. Uh, we went through that before. Avis, Avis, Avis is Latin for bird. So, that's Pidgey, not Spearow. So, Pidgey. I'm using Pidgey. And then Boylock. Can you figure it out? I hope so. Alright, you'll see Boylock in a second anyways. Just think about the names. Um, but, so, I haven't gone any further than here, I just leveled them up like crazy. Probably a little too much for this next battle. Uh, I won't level them, I won't over-level them anymore after this. <coughs> I just kind of got hasty. But, uh, let's go ahead and go up here, and this is the way to the Pokemon League. And you get stopped by, oh, what the heck was that jump? Wow, okay, well, anyways. Hey, Anthony! You're going to Pokemon League? Forget it! You probably don't have any badges! The government won't let you through! By the way, didn't your Pokemon get stronger? This guy's an idiot. He's the one that's over by the Pokemon League. Wouldn't he think that he's the idiot because he went to check if he could go through? They probably told him, Hey kid, you can't go through here. This is the Pokemon League, you need badges. So basically he just told me what he was taught. Alright, so this is Gary, our first rival battle. Um, besides the one that was over there. This is the first real outdoors battle where we can bring in our own caught Pokemon. Okay, so here are the moves I have right now. Uh, fighting probably won't do that much to him as well because he's stronger than fighting actually. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and use Scratch. Scratch, baby! Uh, oh my gosh! How lucky am I? Sparrow used Growl, but it failed. Use Scratch, and alright! <laughs> I took him down, only two levels higher. Alright, Boylock gained 111. If you couldn't tell, he's Mankey. And get it, Man switches the boy, Key switches the lock. Ha, ha, okay. Eevee, will Anthony change Pokemon? Well, I mean, just for the sake of things, sure, why not? <coughs> Eevee versus Lucentia. Let's go, Lucentia! You... Quick attack. And why is his Spearow higher level than his Eevee? That's kind of sad. Why would you level up one of them higher than your main? In the beginning, you know what I mean? Or at least keep them even. I should be using Thundershock, I think. But, um... I'll use it this time. Oh no! My accuracy fell. That's annoying. I hate, um, sand attack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Hit the mic. I hate sand attack, though. Yeah, really. See, look at this. Can't hit him at all. Now he's going to start dwindling me down. If I can't... Come on! Hit him! <coughs> really? You're going to use it again? I'm just going to switch and murder you. Alright, there we go. That should be it. Oh, almost. <sighs> and I didn't even paralyze him or anything. Come on, just hit him. Come on, <laughs> Lucentia. I'm going to make you guys sit through this torture. Thank you. <coughs> Jeez, okay. We got him with Thundershock, finally. Alright, so 157 experience points, no level. Aw, oh, you just locked in. E -e -e -e. Give me $280, punk. I heard Pokemon League has many tough trainers. Whoa, he just went through puberty and back down. <laughs> I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. What kind of 10 year old uses the word dawdling? <coughs> You're a moron. Yeah, go through the grass. I hope you get a random encounter. Oh, we have to go that way too. Okay, we made it. <clears throat> Alright, so, after performing that battle, head back here. Oh, what's back here? Oh, dead end, probably, right? Yeah, it's a dead end. But, right before the... Or right at the dead end is a potion. <coughs> I forgot, secret items are not balls on the ground in this one. They're actually just hidden. You need the item finder for most of them, I believe. Alright. So, we'll head up here, talk to this old dude. I messed up, and I had to restart a save, because I accidentally sped past this guy. So he's going to say, Ah, I've had my coffee now, and I feel great. Sure, you can go through. I'm sorry I was so rude to you. 
I see you're using a Pokédex. I'll show you how to catch Pokémon. That's my apology. I don't want... But I don't... Um... Uh... Alright. Well, old guy's gonna teach us what I already taught you. And he's gonna try to catch a wild Rattata. Let's see how he does. Okay, so that's how you catch Pokémon, huh? Thanks, dog. <coughs> I must be losing my touch. I've run out of Pokéballs, too. I have to go get some at the Pokémart. Um, you're a noob. What do you say? When I go shop in Pewter City, I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest. Noob. Okay, so now we're going to head up here to Route 2. Viridian City to Pewter City. Alright, so we're going to head through the Viridian Forest up here. Uh, right here, I think you can catch, like, Metapod, Caterpie, stuff like that. But you can catch all of those Pokemon in here. Except for probably Spearow, who you can catch in there as well. Okay, are you going in Viridian Forest? Be careful, it's a natural maze. I already know the way through. What do you have to say? You have to run far to get new kinds of Pokemon. Look out for types outside of Viridian Forest. Alright, sure to do that. <coughs> See you, noob. Okay, so this guy won't fight you. He's a noob. Uh, let's see, go up here. I think there's Pokemon. They're supposed to be actually, um... Oh, I need to buy Repel. Why didn't I buy Repel? I wonder if you can buy them yet. But if you go up there, there's a w item. <coughs> I'll show it to you as soon as I get there. Low kick! So bug Pokemon are stronger than, um, fighting Pokemon, I guess? Because that's, like, not very effective. Huh. Alright. I don't know the type differences in this one. I mean, I think it's kind of different. So no item there. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's one. That's not the one I was looking for. Uh, I'm just going to go get these special items over here if I can. I believe there's at least one over here <coughs> that I'll try to get. I should really be using Scratch on... Oh, doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep the Pokemon even for now. Level 12, cool. Alright, let's see what's over here. There we go. Anthony found Pokeball! And down here. Cool, that'll help. Uh, this trick will fight us, I think? Mm, guess not. <coughs> or maybe you actually have to talk to her. Dude, Metapod, what do you want? Level 4. You know, uh. Get used to it, guys. Until I get repels, I'm gonna run. What do you have to say? Do you have a Pikachu? Yeah, uh. Uh. Yes, I have a Pikachu, you jerk. All you wanna do is fight. Less. So, I believe this is our first random encounter with a Pokemon trainer. Well, I mean, we walked into her, but it's still random. I mean, it's... Shut up. Okay. So, it's our first encounter with a trainer besides Gary. So, she has a level 6 Nidoran. As you can tell, rival, ba rival battles are a lot tougher than these ones, because look at this. Level 6. That's just wonderful. Well, our Pokemon are level 12. Last is about to use Nidoran. Oh yeah, Boylock is just freaking destroyed right now. We need to switch out. I'm being sarcastic. Okay, scratch halfway. Man, these guys have some good defense in the beginning, it looks like. Because I can take out a lot of Pokemon just with one scratch or one kick. Alright, Boylock got some XP. <coughs> <coughs> oh no, really? Yeah, I got XP. You got a problem with that? Get out of here, noob. Alright, so let's get through this forest. Let's just keep walking. The special items aren't even a big deal. There's like a few of them. He looks like a trainer that'll battle you. He really isn't. So if I walked in the grass, I wouldn't have had to fight him. But I'd rather fight him for XP than um, fight random encounters for nothing. L um, Pokemon random encounters. Because, I mean, I said he was a random encounter. Even though we walk in front of him on purpose. Um, but yeah. Oh, he's level 12. I should switch to my other Pokemon. Okay, gonna use Scratch, because the low kick is based off weight. I think it's based off weight in this game. I'm not sure if it changed later, or if it's based off of that right now. But I mean, I don't know. So let's take out Caterpie. Caterpie and the PP and the P. Will you change Pokemon? Eh, sure, why not? Awis, Awis, will you go out? Awis. Hello, Awis. I keep wanting to pronounce the V. It's actually a W sound, though. Awis. 
Uh, Whis. I'm gonna say Whis. No, I'm gonna say Whis. It's easier. A Whis. Tackle. Ah! <coughs> Ghost! Freaking got him! Okay. A Whis. Got some XP. Cool, cool. I'm gonna put uh, Pikachu in front. Now. Or Lucentia. I'll call him Lucentia. That's his name. Come on, Anthony. Come on, don't be calling him his wrong name. You call him Lucentia for a reason. You call you call at him Pikachu! Pikachu, come here. I'll be like, what the hell you saying, boy? I don't know no Pikachu. You can't jam out if you're in a Pokemon trainer. Or if you're a Pokemon trainer. I don't know what he said. Forget him. He's a bug catcher. <coughs> These guys are noobs. I wonder if they ever went to Poke Pokemon school or even watch TV. Don't they understand types? They shouldn't they really shouldn't just catch one type of Pokemon. <coughs> okay, thunder shot. Babushka. Babu ba 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 boo ba 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 boo bushka. Harden doesn't work against uh, special attacks, idiot. I think in this game, I'm pretty sure yeah. So I'm gonna keep doing this, and Bug Catcher is about to use Caterpie. Let's take him out. Uh, use Thundershock. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da boosh! Almost done, almost done. Come on. Ugh, he hit me. Ugh, I'm going down. Ugh, uh, he's dead. Okay. Uh, 67 XP, alright. Metapod's next. My goodness, come on, people. I'm gonna take out your Metapod. Two Metapods, and your Metapods probably can't even attack, can they? They're not, they're only level 6. They're not even 7 when they properly evolve. Oh, the educational segment of this um, getting prepared for is about to begin. So Metapod is the evolution of Caterpie, who evolves at level 7 to Metapod. At level 10, Metapod evolves into Butterfree, a very good Pokemon in the beginning. But you don't really care about that, do you? Uh, he's pretty much good because it gets confusion like right off the bat. And then you bet I really was supposed to go down, wasn't I? Probably. But yeah, so that's why he's pretty good for the first gym, the second gym kind of too. But um <coughs> I don't know, I'm I'm not gonna use I usually use him, but then I realize throughout my my playing of the game that it's like, eh, I don't like him anymore. I'll just get something else. Ooh, I just found candy on my desk. It's a a Nestle milk chocolate, so it's generic kind of. It's like Butterfinger brand milk chocolate. It's not Hershey's. Mm. Not too bad for... Well, I guess it's not generic. It's Nestle brand. But it's not a milk chocolate bar you would normally eat. At least in California. Alright, what should I use? Undershock! Hmm, <laughs> Alright. Alright, so starting today, X and Y, I think, comes out in October. So that's like three months away. Oh, that's going to be fun. X and Y. I wonder what um the name, like what the significance is. I know the Pokemon are kind of shaped like an X and a Y. I think. Or I'm stupid. And making that up. But um, I wonder what the significance of the title is actually going to be in the game. So are a lot of Pokemon going to be like that? Are there going to be an unknown type of Pokemon that are in the shape of letters? I mean, that could be something they would do. It seems like they would have already done it, though, but I don't know. Um, <coughs> that would be pretty cool, though. Get a, another random encounter that has a bunch of different shapes. You collect them. It gave you kind of a different thing to do in Pokemon, even though that wasn't really the the main concern. Uh, but it kind of seemed like a lot of end game you could do when you got that, or even when you got to that part in the original Gold and Silver. But um, other than that, I mean, I don't know what they could do extra. Um, compared to the name, anyways. Because when it was Ruby, Sapphire, you always had the Pokemon that looked like looked like the uh, the colors. The main bad guys always had those colors with them. Uh, like Magma and Aqua in 
in uh, <coughs> excuse me, in Ruby and Sapphire. And also, I saw in one of the trailers that they're called Team Flare. So I wonder what the actual or or orange, the uh, blue team's gonna be. Because I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be blue. Or maybe because the X is kind of blue itself, and then the Y is like kind of pinkish. Oh, or at least the main guy is the uh, the legendaries. But I don't know. I guess we just have to see. And then we don't even know. We know that it's kind of a Mewtwo type character, but is he gonna be in like a a, a cave or something like in uh, Pokemon Yellow, or is he gonna be a wild Pokemon? I mean, probably not a wild Pokemon. Uh, they just in, they introduced him so like specially, so I'm sure he won't be a wild Pokemon. But it's still food for thought. Um, anyways, here we are. This is Pewter City. It's probably not the color pewter. I'd call it more brown than pewter. <sighs> so we're gonna go ahead and heal here. Oh, and since we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little funny trick with Pikachu as soon as he's done healing. <coughs> Or with Lucentia, I'm sorry. Lucentia, Boyki, and and Awis. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and talk to this little Pokemon here. No! No! Oh, 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 hit me. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this Jigglypuff here. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Okay, so, alright, fine. Uh, um, Pikachu, hey, what are you, what, I'm kicking you, wake up, what are you doing? <laughs> He's freaking sleeping. There you go, wake up, kid, <laughs> what you doing? The Jigglypuff actually puts, puts to sleep your Pokemon. Alright, so next time on Getting Prepared for Pokemon X and Y, we will be battling the first gym leader, Brock, in the Pewter City Gym. And then, after that, we will be heading towards the, I think it's not the Cerulean Cave, but Mount Moon. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. In the first one, I didn't do a pop proper outro, but uh, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I'll try to get some more content up like this, if you like it. And uh, I will, oh, like and comment as well. I like to see discussions, and if I need room for improvement, let me know. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace.